Tani Owl reversed their fortunes against Ashton Keynes to move within two points of Swindon. Owl sit pretty in the Premier Division table, a point shy of Dorkin with two games in hand. Four strikes guided Anthony Pascarella's men to a convincing win over Ashton Keynes, who will end the season fourth behind Baker's Arms. Elsewhere Baker's Arms kept their slim hopes of title success alive when beating Stratton Juniors by nine goals to nil. A faultless pair of hat-tricks for Aston Glover and Daniel Hiscox proved too much for Stratton Juniors, who could still finish in the top half of the division despite their latest defeat. Levi Coonan and Brad Stanners were also on target for the home side as they prepare for a must-win game at FC Dorkin tonight. Wheat Chief secured fifth spot with a comfortable 3-1 win over Lower Stratton. Charlie Gillett provided Wheat Chief with a two-goal lead before Clint Lomax made it 3-0, putting the game beyond Stratton's reach. There was some consolation for Lower Stratton who scored late on, but Ian Soar's hopes of guiding his men to a top-half finish evaporated following Saturday's loss. Swindon Spitfires crept into the top half of the league with a handy 5-1 win against Centurion Spectrum. Stephen Hughes bagged a brace and was supported by Luke Burrows, Jake Roffey and Anthony Collett as Spitfires recorded their eighth win of the campaign.